2015 was the first time I stretched my foot into Philippines. It was a mixed feeling because I was in between being happy and being sad. Being happy in the sense that I wanted something to do. I actually wanted to explore and being sad that I'm leaving my comfort zone, I'm leaving my loved ones, and I'm leaving my family at home. Well, so far, there were a lot of challenges. But the only challenge I'm going to share with you would be the language barrier. Because when I first came, the first few months was quite difficult to communicate with my instructors, my classmates, and even the normal individuals on the street. Because where I'm from, I am a fast paced English speaker. And it's quite difficult for the world to understand me. But aside that, like I always say, challenges will keep you, it will only make you stronger. And I'm glad to do it by that point. Now, also, the Philippines is a very blessed country. I've been to so many places. Burakai, the Parama, the Cebu, the Puerto Galera, so many different places. I personally love their food. And my favorite dish here is the spicy chicken and yogurt, so so masala. The people here are very friendly, very loving, very accommodating, and also very, very down to earth. And it's a unique characteristic I love about the Filipinos, which is how united the family is. And I urge you to pursue living that way. It has also come to my understanding that. There are some international students here, and also some Filipinos who want to pursue their education in another foreign country. And I'm going to share with you some tips that I've actually helped me in my seven years here in the Philippines. The first thing is, you should always pray. Pray to God for His direction, pray to God for His mission, and pray to God for His protection. The second thing I'm going to share with you is, always, at any time, expect the unexpected. I have never experienced um, the typhoon or the natural disaster like the earthquake, but I think that's it. So please always expect the unexpected. And the third thing I'll share with you is wherever you go, no matter the country, no matter the continent, please, please, please respect the country, respect their rules and regulations, respect the individuals there, and lastly, respect their culture. Salam alaikum.